Welcome back. A milk factory was supplied with 3,000 liters of milk by some farmers. The milk was then packed into two deciliter packets. How many packets were obtained? Now, the first thing you need to establish before solving this question is to know that uh, one liter is going to give you what? 10 deciliters. So, one liter is going to give me 10 deciliters. Deciliters. Okay? So, that means, let's convert 3,000 liters to deciliters. So that means 3,000 liters is going to give us 3,000 times 10. So this is going to give us 30,000 deciliters. So now we know this. So we are going to pack this 30,000 into this 2 deciliter. So for you to pack 10,000 into 2 deciliter, you are going to obtain 30,000 all divided by 2 and this is going to give you 15,000 packs so the correct answer here is B so I'm going to mark my B the next question says electric poles are fixed at equal intervals of 50 meters apart a total of 51 poles are used along one side of the street in the town what is the total distance between the first and the last pole now, the first thing you need to understand, these are the poles. This is pole 1. Now, you know, between one pole and another pole, um, electricity lines are connected. So, this is another pole. Now, notice it says between the two poles, the distance is what? 50 meters. Now, notice there's another pole. Now, this is also what? 50 meters. Okay? So, having established that all the poles are going to be 50 meters, now, this will tell you that up to the 51th pole, they are all going to be, what, 50 meters. Now, it says, what is the distance between the total pole, the distance, what is the total distance between the first and the last pole? Now, notice, this is distance 1. This is what? Distance 2. Now, notice, this is what? Distance 3. I want you to know that 4 poles is going to give you, what, 3 you will get three distance from four poles. So, so for you to get the distance, now, for four poles, imagine if you were asked for four poles, it's going to be what? Four times what? Three. Because if you watch, we have only distance one, two, and three. So that's going to be, uh, we are going to do, uh, that will be three times, that's four, four poles. It will be three times what? 50. But now, we are being asked for 51 poles so for 51 poles we are going to do what 50 because for up uh, one it's not going to count so it will be 50 times 50 and that's going to give us what 2500 meters so the correct answer here it's what b so the next question says in the, in the figure shown below, line EF is parallel to line GH. Line MN is a transversal. Which of the following statements is correct? So we are going to be analyzing all these statements one by one. Now, the first one says angle T plus U is equal to 180. Now, notice these are opposite angles. Opposite angles are equal, but they are not equivalent to 180. So this is wrong. Now, it says angle u plus x u plus x is equal to 180 so this is u and this is an x u and x are they are alternate angles and they are not equal so this is wrong it says angle s plus w is equal to 180 now s angle s is corresponding to angle w so they are not equal to 180 then it says angle u plus w it's um, u plus w it's 180 so let's look at u plus w now if you look at angle u plus w okay so you can see that u is the same thing as x u is the same thing as x which is what alternate angle okay so now that means this is also what? U. Now you can see U plus W is angle on a straight line. U plus W is equal to 180. 
Reason being that they are what? Angle on a straight line. An angle on a straight line is equal to 180. So from here we can say D is the correct answer. So we are going to circle what? D. Next question says the vertice. What is the product of the number of vertices and the number of edges of a triangular prism? Now, this is a triangular prism. It's asking for the product of the number of vertices. Now, how many vertices do we have? Our vertices will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, and this is 6. So we have 6 vertices. Number of edges. How many edges do we have? So we have this is a. Uh, uh this is edge one i want you to know this is one this is two under it is three the two sides here is four and five so the number of edges are five let's count again this is one two this is the two side edges three four and binet here it's five so this is going to be six times five and that will give us 30. so the correct answer here it's uh 30. Okay, so um, the next question says um, the following are properties of quadrilaterals. Has two pairs of parallel lines. Okay, these are the following properties of the quadrilateral. It says which pair of the properties above describe both a rhombus and a square. Now, I want you to know that it's a rhombus. This is a rhombus and this is a square. So now let's compare the properties. Has two parallel lines. Yes, you can see this is a sorry. Uh, I think the way I did my image, this is a square, please. You need to observe this very well. Okay, so you can see this has parallel sides. This has so this is correct. So both the rhombus, these are parallel, these two sides are parallel. So this is correct. All angles are not equal. For a square, the angles are all equal. Yes, for a rhombus, the angles are not equal. So, this is not the same for both of them. The diagonals are not equal and bisect at 90 degrees. For a square, the diagonals are equal. So, this is wrong. Now, it says the diagonals bisect the entire angles. Yes, you can see the diagonals divide the entire angle. So, this is correct. So, we have I and IV being correct. So our correct answer here is B. Now the next question 27 says, um, what is the size of the supplement of angle XYZ? Now this is what we call uh, the supplement of the angle. Now if we can find, measure this with our compass, then we can now get the supplement of the angle. Now using your compass on your paper, um, if you measure this angle, so if you watch we just introduced a compass although you can't see the base but use your compass to put this you can see that at this point at this point i'm getting 40 degree so having done that uh this is going to be uh 40 degrees so i will do um to get the supplement it's going to be what that will be 360. Remember, angle at a point or angle around the circle, it's what? 360. So this is going to be 360 minus 40 degree. Now this is going to give me what? That's uh, 320 degree. So the correct answer here is going to be what? A. So that will take us to the next question which says, what is the value of m plus n squared over 2t minus 1? Now, for you to solve this, m is what? 3. t is what? m minus 1, which is what? 3 minus 1, and that's 2. And n is what? t plus 5, which is what? t is 2 plus 5, and that will give us 7. So, m plus n squared over 2t minus 1 is the same thing as 3 plus, what's n? 7 squared all over 2 times 2 minus 1. Now, this is going to be 3 plus 7 squared is going to give us 49 all over. This will be 4 minus 1. 2 times 2 is 4 
and minus 1. So this is going to give us what? That will give us 52 divided by 3. And 52 divided by 3, 3 into 5 is going to give us 1. You carry 2. 3 into 22 is going to give us 7. Remember, 1 over 3. Final answer. 17, 1 over 3. So this answer is C. A question 29 says, Peter has excellent. Amaya has four times as much money as Peter. Ali has seven shillings less than Maria. How much do they have all together? Now, Peter has X. Maria has four times Peter. Ali has seven less than Maria. That's four X minus seven. Now, the total is going to be X plus four X plus four X minus seven. X plus 4x plus 4x is going to give us what? 9x minus 7. So this is the total. So the correct answer here is um, C. So I'll mark this. Remember your units. So uh, question 30. Question 30 says a teacher shared 20 books amongst Kevin, Jane, and Aaron. Jane got twice as many books as Kelvin. Aaron got four books less than Kelvin. How many books did Aaron get? Now let Kelvin, which is the reference point, be what? X. Now Jane will be twice as many books as Kelvin. That's 2x. Aaron, Aaron will be four books less than Kelvin. That's x minus 4. Now Remember that the books that was shared was what? 20. So if you do x plus 2x plus x minus 4, that will give you the total books, which is 20. So this is x plus 2x plus x is going to give us 4x minus 4. And that will give us what? 20. So the, collecting your like terms, this will be 20 plus 4. So 4x is going to give us 24. And we'll have x to be 24 over 4. And that's what? 6. Now, having gotten our 6, for Aaron, Aaron is what? X minus 4. And that will give us what? 6 minus 4, which is what? 2. So Aaron gave us what? How many? 2. So the correct answer here is A. So I will take my A. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get more videos from us.